This week we're doing Sing About Me by Kendrick Lamar, produced by Like from Pac Div. Now this track's a great example of how you can take a sample, chop it up, and then build something new that flows together so well it doesn't even sound like it was ever chopped up in the first place. So let's hear that sample from the song Maybe Tomorrow by Grant Green. So it might not sound like there's a lot going on in this track, and rhythmically, that's true. It's real slow, there's only a couple instruments, they don't really play that many notes, but musically speaking, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of dense, complicated chords, a lot of chord changes, a lot of key changes even, and all that makes it really difficult to put this back together in some new way that actually makes sense, musically speaking. If it was the same four chords over and over again, the same melody getting replayed over and over again, you could put things together pretty easily. It's all in the same key. You have a lot of options. But a track like this, a jazz track that goes through all these keys and doesn't really repeat itself ever, is really hard to put back together. And Like found a way to do that. He made a lot of big chunks, he took a lot of small pieces, and he put together this series of chops that makes this new chord progression, it makes this new melody, and really works. So let's just walk through those one by one. So first we've got these three. Which gets played at this speed. Then we jump backwards in the sample. Even further back. And then way ahead. So then if we play at full speed we get this. All right, so now we're here. Jump back a little bit. Jump way back. A little, little forward. So all together. And then we start back over. The drums in this track are based around a real short drum break from the song Use Me by Bill Withers. So we take that half bar section of just drums and roll off some of the low end to make room for our own kick. Then we can chop it up and loop it like this. Then on top of that we bring in our extra kick and layer it in like this. In some of the later hooks, there's a string section that comes in. So that covers all the elements to this track and I'll go ahead and play the finished sequence version in just a minute here, but before I do I want to remind you, as always, to head over to beatbreakdown.net where I've got project files for download, a machine, FL Studio, and Ableton file formats, and where I've got my new tutorial series going called the Start From Scratch series. It'll teach you everything you need to know to get started making beats with just your computer. You don't have to go buy any tons of gear, expensive software, none of that. You can get started today, and if you sign up with the code SINGABOUTME, all one word, you'll get half off your first month. So go take advantage of that, and we'll be rolling out a lot more machine tutorials, hopefully more advanced Ableton tutorials, just a lot more content in general. So be on the lookout for those. And I want to remind you, I've been live streaming both here on YouTube and over at Twitch, username Beat Breakdown over there. Uh, we've been doing the weekly beat critiques most Wednesdays and Sunday nights around 8 central. People send in their tracks over on the website. I play them on the stream, share what I think. Uh, it's a good time. People get some good feedback, get to hear some fun music. Uh, some good tracks, some bad tracks, it's just a good time all around. So uh, drop by one of those, send in your tracks, and just come hang out. So I'll see you on the next episode of Beat Breakdown.